There is new hope tonight for homeless women in Eastern Polk County who might need temporary or even long term shelter. In February, we told you the Salvation Army had to close its shelter in Winter Haven. They said it was because of high expenses and a lack of funding. This is huge. Now another charity stepping in to help and 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser shows us who it is and why they're no stranger to helping those in need. There are no other places. That's why some of us are here. Angela Gay was one of about a dozen women who had to be relocated when the Salvation Army closed its women's shelter in February. It's been hard. At the time, it was uncertain what would happen to the property. Although the Salvation Army could not afford to keep running it, the number of women experiencing homelessness in eastern Polk County continues to grow. We think automatically drug use, domestic violence. Yes, that's a part of it, but that whole thing has now expanded. Deborah Cosetti is with Talbot House Ministries, the organization that purchased the property, well known for its work in Lakeland and already familiar with the region's challenges. This is what we do at Talbot House. It is. Cosetti says Talbot House helped to relocate several of the women who were living at the Salvation Army shelter before it closed and immediately entered talks to purchase the property for about a million dollars. We understand the population. We understand the needs of the population. We were a perfect fit. It's nice to see that there are people that are going to be working to just help the people of this community. Lieutenant Amanda Jones with the Salvation Army's local chapter says they're grateful that the property will continue to be used essentially for the same mission. So those that are looking for that service still have somewhere that's like able to help them. Talbot House says it plans to redesign some of the interior, creating a kind of dorm space for single women. Other rooms with multiple beds will be reserved for those with young children. In all, space for about 20 clients at a time. I'm sure that there's going to be people waiting at the door when we finally open. Barring any major construction or weather delays, Talbot House says it hopes to have this facility redesigned and reopened around January of next year. In Winter Haven, Eric Glasser, 10 Tampa Bay. Salvation Army says it's still operating its food bank in the area. They have now relocated to service uh, their service rather to the main building, which is on Highway 17 in Winter Haven. Such a big need. Talbot House says it looks forward to working with the Salvation Army and other organizations on solutions that serve the community.